back, fellow Patriots. My name is Austin Otto. And I'm Peyton Nelson. And welcome back to HTTV, where we tell you what's up. Let's jump right into the calendar for this week. Okay, September 13th. It looks like we have a volleyball game in Hitchcock versus Highmore Herald. And elementary football versus Redfield in Tulare. And there's FFA in DeSmith. And Kale Warner has a birthday today. Happy birthday, Kale. Uh, tomorrow, the 14th, there's enhancement. There's also a junior high football game of varsity football at Falkton. And there's also Grant Hamilton and Silas Harford's birthday. Happy birthday, Grant and Silas. And on the 15th, there is junior high volleyball at Wessington Springs and cross country at Gettysburg. <clears throat> and then, seems like a pretty packed week that next week we got. Let's see here. Oh, next week's homecoming. Woo! So, Monday the 17th, we have elementary football at Wolsey, junior high football at Wolsey, and JV football at Wolsey. And the Monday dress up day is Moana, which is Hawaiian themed. Okay, and on the 18th, it is, there is junior high volleyball and varsity volleyball versus Iroquois and Hitchcock. And the theme day is Tarzan, which is jungle theme. Wednesday, the 19th, there's FFA at Falkton and cross country at Falkton. The theme for that day is Wish Upon a Star, which is dress up as your favorite Disney character. And it is also Madison Watson's birthday. Happy birthday, Madison. Um, on Thursday, it looks like we have a busy day. We have junior high volleyball and varsity volleyball against Miller in Miller, and elementary football at Miller. And we got a handful of birthdays. Colleen Whiff, Jacob Haig, Myron Whiff. So happy birthday to them. And our dress up day is the Three Little Pigs, which is triplet and twin day. And Friday, the big day with all the festivities, with the parade, the floats, we have Football versus T. Zena here at Tulare, or Hitchcock, sorry, it's at Hitchcock. And it is Aaron Whiff's birthday that day, too. So, seems like a pretty packed week. So, let's hop into our interviews with the elementary students. Hi, I'm Trajan Flea, and I'm here with Colin Flea. So, Colin, what grade are you in? Six. What are you learning in sixth grade? Math. Math. Um, so, how's your school year been so far? Good. Um, are you excited to be a seventh grader next year? Yeah. Nervous? Kind of. Are you been being good for your teacher? Yeah. No pestering Mr. Op? No. All right, back to you. Hi, my name is Dawson Otto, and I'm here with Cambry Hookman. Hi, Cambry. Hi. How are you? Good. What grade are you in? Fifth. What are you learning in fifth grade? Math. How's that going? Boring. That's cool. How's school going for you? Boring. Wow. Um, <laughs> back to you. Hi, I'm Peyton Nelson. I'm here with Cash Chaplin. How you doing, buddy? Good. How's school going? Good. What are you learning about? Like, so we multiply it like, like 750,000 and then another number, and then we got to find the estimate. Wow, that sounds fun. How's recess going? Like, what do you do at recess? Soccer. Soccer? You like soccer? Yeah. Yeah. You like football too, don't you? Yeah. Go Packers, right? <laughs> All right, back to you. Now we go to Kobe and Cody with their interviews with Mr. Nelson and Mr. Opp for their football and volleyball interviews. How was the game against Aberdeen Christian? Um, Aberdeen Christian, you know, um, they're a well-improved team from before, from when we played them. Um, we struggled, um, you know, whether it was a f giving, giving too many free balls defensively, offensively. We gave them way too many errors. I think we counted, we gave them 40 errors in four sets. So that's about 10 errors a set, which is way too many. Um, we have to cut down on errors. We have to learn how to communicate better. Um, as we saw the other night, we weren't communicating, we weren't talking on the floor, which led to some of our errors. So hopefully yesterday in practice, we, we fixed some of those things. We're going to be ready to go. So what are your thoughts on the game for tonight? You know, obviously, Highmore comes in. They're a 281 conference matchup. Um, we've had pretty good 
battles with High more in the past. I would say maybe it's kind of a rival game a little bit. Um, they're down. I don't know a lot about them. Um, it's hard to get a little info on them, but they're down. I know they're they're young. Um, they have a lot of freshmen. They do have some height though. Um, a couple good hitters in, uh, in a, uh, their middle, and I believe they're outside. So we're gonna have to get the blocks up. We're gonna have to play a good game compared to what we played Tuesday night. Um, we're gonna communicate better. We're gonna cut down our errors. Take care of our take care of what, what we do best, you know, and um, you know, we got to pass better. We just got to play the game better, you know, than what we did Tuesday night. So, um, you know, hopefully Dawson Dawson will be able to play a little bit tonight. Um, the knee's still bothering her. Um, we're just going to play it by ear, see if we can get her through tonight, then we're going to rest her again. What do you think about the game next Tuesday against Iroquois? You know, Iroquois, um, they're young. They're very inexperienced. Um, we're not going to take them for granted, obviously, because you do that, you get into trouble. But, um, you know, it should be a fairly easy game. I don't want to say that, you know, too much. But uh, they're, um, we we're, we stay aggressive with our serving and just control the game. I think we'll be okay. Um, but like I said, we can't overlook them. When you start overlooking them, that's when, when we get into trouble. Okay, thank you, Mr. Up. Back to you. Thank you for tuning in to HGTV. And remember, be, be awesome, awesome, not average. average.